Lisa, why does the mind sometimes seem to behave like an entity with intent? It seems to fight back when I ignore it or inquire into the nature of self. The mind does as the mind does. The sky does as the sky does. If it rains, it rains. If it's sunny, it's sunny. It's blue, it's blue. The reason why the mind is fighting is because it's seeking for something. It's so simple. It's seeking for life to be a certain way. So it fights. It's not even aware of what it's seeking for. To it, it seems normal. I don't mean fighting as in response, like, like, um, like, you, like there can be arguments, and there can be debates, and there can be this is the right way or this is the right way. But I mean like the suffering sense, that sense of contraction comes from or always trying to get love from the timeline, always trying to find yourself in the timeline always trying to escape pain in the timeline. You can't, it's a happening. It is a happening. But just so you don't feel too overwhelmed by emotions, because I know that some people that listen to these these talks, you, you know, they've, they've really identified with their emotions and feelings. There can always be an exploration of the emotions and feelings. You can, when you feel separate and you feel like you're a seeker, you can move your attention onto those uncomfortable feelings. So when you're fighting with someone, the, the, like and you're fighting and you feel really uncomfortable, um, so you're fighting and there's discomfort, you can move your attention to those feelings and you'll see underneath what you think. So say if somebody's being really rude to you and you're fighting with them about that, you can move the attention to the feelings and see that really where all of that struggle is coming from, the reason that you feel uncomfortable is there's always a sensation at the bottom of things that you aren't enough, that you're not valid, that you are lost or lost something in a way and that you're, you're afraid. So if you're really trying to fight to maintain your identity and prove to someone you're something and you're really feeling uncomfortable, because I can fight with people, but when I fight with people, it's not coming from a place of seeking. It's a different energy. So there can be fighting without seeking. But when you feel that clamp, that seeking, suffering energy, then you can explore it and you'll see that it's coming from a place of um, lack. When I fight, believe it or not, it's not that I really fight, I'm actually nice most of the time, but when I fight, it never comes from a lack, I'm never trying to complete myself in time. But you'll notice that you're struggling so much because you're always trying to complete yourself. No one's going to complete you. Whether they tell you you're good or bad, it doesn't matter. You like the good. You get pleasure when, they, when you're told you're good and you get pain when you're told you're bad. But this is nothing. That's not the end of seeking. This is just pain and pleasure. It's a trickery. There is somebody there that's judging that pain and pleasure and wanting to manipulate it into something. Wanting it to be a certain way. Ah, this is the life. Ah.